Hi everyone, welcome to my video for November and for this month we have Archangel Michael straight away come through but I'm also feeling Archangel Metatron coming through strongly this month and the Ascended Masters as well as the Angels and the Ascended Masters had already come through prior to this reading and then this card appeared also. I feel that they're sending this waves of energy right now so I'm just gathering this up right now, this energy and just breathing in and out and let's I'm going to transmit this energy to you through my hands here and also through the card. And if you're sensitive to energy or just take a moment you might just feel a tingle or something on your body or a sense of calm and peace. And these are the transmissions that they're sending you. And they are, send, they are saying as Ascended Masters that now they've been watching over us and they will continue to watch over us during this time, during this month, but also beyond this month I'm feeling and well into 2016, 2017 onwards. Um, what they're saying is that the torrential rain that you have recently experienced, um, which could be symbolic, uh, could be literal, but um, I'm feeling otherwise symbolic of the emotional energies that have been rising. So it felt like great rain coming out of your soul as tears. And this has been, um, it's been like a well of emotions. And they're saying that that has been a great cleansing. And even though it might not have felt like that at times because you were just in these waves of emotion, that what it was doing in effect is um, bringing about a greater clarity and a greater peace within you uh, and that is something that we are all searching for and working towards some of us don't actually know this yet <laughs> um, and some of us are always asking when can I just have peace so it's a bit of both they're saying there's a twofold uh, just as I said there's two versions of people that are asking for peace or unaware that that's what they truly desire they're saying there's a twofold interplay between the two right now just like there's a twofold interplay between light and the dark which we see in the outside world and also in our personal lives all around us with people and relationships uh, and goings on of, of energy. Um, so they're saying now it is truly time to move forward and time to go, time to um, take action steps. I really love this card and um, the feeling that it gave me as soon as I saw it uh, was this feeling of, okay, we've gone through this great cleansing, we've gone through all these emotions, um, and now it's time to stretch our feet and move beyond and work on all those goals and dreams that we want to um, and just feel clearer as we move ahead, stepping into a new vibration and a shift of energy I'm feeling they're telling me right now. I'm going to read the words on this card because they're quite beautiful. It says, the sun sets and rises each day and it's the same with the avenues in your life. See the beauty within each sunset in your life and know that the sun will also rise again tomorrow. And those last few words I really felt for those of you who have been really emotional or still going through emotional or struggling times. You will rise again tomorrow. Keywords just for you. Endings are merely the start of a new beginning. There's a really a clear emphasis on new beginning with a shift of energy as I said before and of frequency and vibration and it says we are with you through each phase and cycle and it's very much about phases and cycle as we step on one phase so I'm feeling now they um when I do readings and when I have a client you know um sometimes things that are around in the room or um or sounds or objects might, uh, will come into my consciousness and they'll be part of the message so right now um before I saw this I felt a uh, platform so a plateau like imagine stepping on a um on a rock like this of ice where it's smooth and flat and then that's one step and then um then you that's one phase and then you master that phase and then you go to the next so that's what they're showing me right now okay and since we're talking about phases and cycles that actually came through one of the cards so i'm just going to grab it right now okay cycles and rhythms um and this has come up before um, you know, the, literally you could um, talk about um, moon energy in the own cycles and rhythms in your life, um, your, your hormones and all those kinds of things and your uh, cycles of your body. But also um, I'm feeling that this is 
again the emphasis on the shifts and the and phases that you are going through and that we collectively are going through as a whole as a humanity and uh, and on earth and through the universe a collective shift of energy felt really really strongly i'm drawn now to the purples and as you can see there's purples carrying through here symbolizing spirituality spiritual growth okay i'm also feeling the water energy again of the emotions rising cleansing so a lot going on now archangel michael is cutting with his sword so cutting away any negative debris so if you still have some energetic debris left over feeling that release right now as archangel comes through to release that quite strongly um, so what we're heading towards is greater feelings of peace and our greatest teachers are our children those of you with children or that um, have children somehow around you grandchildren or perhaps you work with children or whatever the case may be, they are our greatest teachers. They're coming through strongly. These new children on earth who are more connected to the divine, who have a greater sense of knowing, and they are here helping us lift our vibration. They bring true, they, they bring through truth, joy, and clarity, the angels are saying right now. And I'd like you to compare the picture, the message that they bring through now, like the crystal children. Um, uh, see this child here, how it's happy, it's completely content and see the mother she looks um very like she's been through a lot of emotions um and the water in the background the cleansing so what they're saying right now to me is that the children are bringing through joy and bringing through waves of peace and harmony they're through codes and signatures of things that they say the ways that they are around you they are your messengers and your guides is coming through very very strongly i'm also feeling it's time to for a more holistic sense of health uh, so i'm noticing the the fruit and veg here so this is and i'm feeling a more greater sense of well-being and self-care and development um, the dolphins in the background representing joy creativity um, just like children are so we are to learn from these creatures also um, also the blue energy symbolizing also spiritual growth and teachings and learnings and um, and peace energy the angels have been saying strongly that not only is it time to go now and move forward but start and continue or creative projects this is a month to be truly inspired it is a month of noticing signs it is a month of increased intuition um, as they carry on from the end of October where the energy the thin there's a thinning between the worlds where you're able to be become more intuitive and knowing and aware and this is continuing through so it's about listening to um, to yourself from within so going into the core of yourself and igniting reigniting a divine sense of passion and purpose in your life now see it this is like a volcanic explosion so before where it was an emotional release now it is turning transforming into passion and the colors they're representing passion also the reds orange gold and yellow this is a time of um, now awakening your spiritual gifts and using your manifestation power now remember uh, 2015 is an eight year symbolizing great um, abundance and um, and possibilities and some of us have not quite tapped into all of that now so it's a reminder that that energy is there for us still now um, during this time that we are now after this grand release and this shift at a higher vibration able to manifest with greater clarity because our needs are more clear because we've released what we need to all that stuff that's been dug up from the past those memories and those thoughts that have come to our minds in recent times um, have been clearing and opening up a new space just like this plateau here through this phase to step onto this is where we're stepping on to now via the law of attraction like attracts like and we are to step into uh, our true desires and moving away from the people jobs thoughts uh, associations that no longer serve us in our divine sense of purpose some of us are stuck in this um, trap between um, the material world and uh, jobs for money versus uh, life purpose and fulfillment so now feel that turning feel that uh, burning and mixing up and um, and with this divine sort of 
passion, energy, um, transmuting, visualize that transmuting into into doing what gives you joy and coming from a place of joy. Baby steps, one step at a time. Okay, so very much see these three cards. Now what I do is when I do these readings, I have I use a few decks that I feel drawn to at the time. I pull out the cards and then I replace them according to, um, to my intuitive senses and telling a story. See how these beautiful cards here, they all coincide, they all synchronize, they all send a signal and a message here. Um, and again, that, see this number 19 is repeated here, which is very significant. Now that adds up to the number one, meaning a new beginning and a fresh start. Okay, so this is about you shining through, stepping forward, opening yourself up to the light, a release of all that tension in your solar plexus chakra in your stomach. Now feel that releasing. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for coming through and cutting cause of that. Release, release, release. So now I'm doing some energy work here and you had to visualize that air pulling weeds out of your body literally so if you could imagine like this like pulling out weeds I'll just do it in slow-mo with this camera okay out of your whole body and energetic system I'm doing this for you now but you can visualize this also and feel all these weeds releasing 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 out from you and now you are blossoming and you are becoming who you truly are, who you were always meant to be, who you always were and um, where you are heading. This is a blossoming. See this creation energy here? She's creating like a like a ball of energy. Um, this is what she is wanting to create and it's blossoming and it's blooming and this is the new you. It's about bringing in the light to your life and asking the light, asking for you to be showered by the light. Listening to your own intuitive senses, going deep within where the answers lie and constantly, constantly clearing the energy. This is what I'm getting now. Okay, a little bit new this month. So we've talked about cord cutting and Archangel Michael before. Um, I just got this message now, just being drawn to the sword there. Um, so what I'm feeling is what they're saying, keep cutting the cords, keep releasing, releasing. If you need to do it all day long, um, if you need to do it um, every five minutes, do what you have to do or once a day, three times a day, whatever it is. But as soon as something happens, person that annoys you um, or some bad news or something that, you know, could ruin your day, cut, cut, release, release. Imagine it going from you. Release, release. Cleanse yourself constantly. Okay. Now, yoga. That doesn't mean you have to do yoga, but going within finding the answers i'm drawn to the third eye here and we actually have the third eye chakra through the card now i've mentioned the solar plexus chakra for this month as well as the third eye chakra this is the one that is truly opening up visualize that eye above your um your nose and then your forehead opening up blooming inspiring you giving you divine um guidance information opening up your psychic wisdom Um, now, what we are stepping into is this power of joy card. See this? Now, it was upside down, which was my sign for something that we might need to work on, but it's the potential of the energy is there. So do we want it upside down or do we want it this way? This is where we're heading. Remember all those light cards? This is where those cards are heading. So I'll grab one of those cards, okay? This is the message, and it's also um, continuing from that message of peace and so on. Okay, I'm just going to stick all these cards up. And then I have a few more cards. For some of us, we might still need to work through some of our issues, okay? So have a rest, reconsider things, take time out. Cannot stress it enough. Go to nature and just um, and spend time in nature as much as possible. Revive, rest, rejuvenate, all those re-words, okay? Take time to yourself and al allow the earth to ground you. Be really well grounded. See here, I'm, that's what I'm feeling now through the stones and so on. So do that yourself. Okay, it's time to break through old barriers, anything limiting you, self-limiting beliefs, anything around you, and visualize yourself as expanding beyond limitation and heading into joy and freedom where you belong and what you deserve. This is a time of breaking free from the chains and resolving to heal. Once and for all, all of those issues are seeing rainbow energy around this Reiki for some of you, and I'm feeling divine connection with the heart, 
aligned with the um, the third eye in the solar plexus as um, three chakras uh, all connecting now and giving you 